How's it going, everybody? This is the Erroneous One here with the new Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. Sorry about that. Alright, guys, so we got some updates today, and a few more the other day I didn't really do a video on that I guess I kind of should have, but I was busy with work, so that's a thing. Um, forgive me if I look a little tired. It was a long day today at work. Um, it was really long, actually. And I just went and renewed my lease for my apartment, so lots going on today. But let's go ahead and jump into these new um, updates we got, because it's. It's interesting. Um, so prior to this, we did get the um, the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Avatar boards. Uh, they were interesting. I, I love the way they look. So these are actually really, really cool looking ones. Both of them, both the female and the male Avatar are really neat looking. Um, and it's in honor of the Dead Men Tell No Tales movie, so that kind of makes sense. But it's really cool they did that. Um, they, they look great. Uh, honestly, they've been, they've been kind of on a roll with the Avatar boards as of late, so I, I do like those. Um, it's going to come with some pretty nifty stuff inside of it. Uh, you're going to get four Magic Mirrors per uh, per board. You're going to get some Sid 10, Chip and Dales. You're going to get Speed Gems this time. Um, the skills, I was kind of down by the skills because I was kind of hoping for a new skill released in the Avatar board, but instead it's just Attack Boost 4 plus APP, Attack Boost 4, and Defense Boost 3, which is the exact same thing we got in the previous Cinderella ones that were just the last ones released. So... There's that. Um, you do get a skill perk plus six, though, with the Jack Sparrow hat for the males. <clears throat> and a skill perk plus three for the book for uh, Karina Smythe uh, from the boards. Not too bad. Like I said, four mirrors per per board. Um, two uh, Sid Tins uh, per board. And then you get, you're going to get uh, three Chippendales per board. So that's not, that's not too terrible. Plus, of course, the Speed Gems and the... Um, skills there. So considering the boards, um, if you don't have these boards or if you need some more um, attack price plus in your life, this isn't a bad one to go off of, honestly enough. They, they give you some decent skills, decent attack metal, uh, attack skills, and decent um, defense skills. So not too bad at all, really. Um, but again, you know what's better for that one in regards to what you guys have, what you guys may need. So take that for what you will. Um, we also got zero, uh, zero AP campaign. Sorry. Sure. Oops, I mentioned it earlier. Yeah, Zero AP is going to be here until... There we go. Until June 11th, which is about a week and a half, I think. <clears throat> Roughly. Uh... Oh, no, it's about two weeks, actually. Huh. Not bad. Um... June 12th, yeah. So that's not too bad. So we got about, about two weeks of zero P again, which is great. I mean, I always love zero P. It's going to make doing those proud quests again easier to do, which is why we got the zero P because we did get proud quests, which I'll get into that in a second. Um, one thing I forgot to mention with this one, though, in case you guys are unaware of this, um, once purchased, make sure to unlock all nodes before the campaign period ends. If you do not unlock all the nodes before the campaign period ends, you will not be able to unlock the rest of the nodes on the board after the campaign period. You will not need avatar coins to unlock nodes on these boards. So it is very curious that they're saying that. Um, not so much that they're going to, uh, that you have to unlock all the nodes before the campaign period ends. That kind of sucks. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know there were a few players who liked um, buying the boards and then, you know, going through and getting things when they needed them. Uh, skills, uh, gems, um, mirrors, whatever. Uh, they saved them for when they needed them, which I can kind of say it, it makes sense. You know, you, you kind of have like a little stockpile behind you that you don't see regularly, so you don't, they're not on the top of your head to go do things. And every now and then you're going like, oh, that's right, I had this board. I can go get the board and get it from that, and then you go from there, and you're, it's, it's good. So I, I understand that. Um, that sadly, you guys won't be able to, able to do that anymore. Um, but you're going to have to get them right, you're going to have to get them before the campaign period ends at least. Um, so be aware of that if you guys do do your boards and make sure you, uh, if you guys do have unlocked boards left right now, that you guys go and get any out of them because once this campaign period ends, all the boards are going to go away. All of it. Even, even ones you guys have bought previously. So keep that in mind. That's going to be important so you guys don't lose out on what you guys did pay your precious jewels with. Make sure you guys go and get your um, rewards from the avatar boards. Uh, one thing though they kind of mentioned here that's kind of strange is you will not need avatar coins to unlock nodes on these boards. That's not a surprise. All the avatar boards that you paid with always had a zero avatar avatar coin cost on them. That makes me kind of wonder what they're going to come out with next. I do know that in JP you do get um, you do get uh, avatar coins for certain events and certain things now, and I'm wondering if they're also doing that and you start using those to unlock things perhaps with the avatar board or something. 
I don't know. It's kind of strange. I mean, honestly, if we're paying the jewels for it already, we should be getting those, all this, all the goodies in the board that you just pay jewels with for free. But um, I could be mistaken in how they they're they're running those avatar coins. Like I said, I'm not too sure on on the JP version of that. So people who play JP, if, if you leave me a comment down below, let me uh, you know just clarify that what you guys use those coins for. Um, I'd appreciate it. So I I know and I, I'm aware, and then I can tell everybody else as well. But yeah, make sure you go and get those. Um, Make sure you go and get your loot from the avatars so you don't lose mal on Again, more proud mode quests have been added. Uh, up to 215 added now, and Fenrir comes out in quest 203, I think it is, which is super exciting. I definitely want the Fenrir. Um, more magic mirrors is always good, more jewels is always good. So, I think later today, perhaps I might be in a stream where I go through and I start to, to complete as many of the avatar uh, proud mode quests as I can. Uh, right now, I'm currently at quest 150, so I have about 100 to do. Um, at bare minimum, I have about 50 plus to do before I get Fenrir, so that is going to be a thing that we'll be doing uh, pretty soon, either tonight or tomorrow, probably tonight, because uh, tomorrow I got some things to do for the weekend, so we'll see though. But it's neat that they're here, it's cool that they came here as well, um, I do like that. I did mention previously that I was pretty sure that they were going to release some more prod quests, and I was right. It seems to be releasing prod quests every two to three weeks, I want to say, uh, is, the, is the scheduling they kind of have for that uh, for us and on the global version, so... Not too bad for that one. Um, here's a big one, though, for today. <clears throat> we did get a new Epic Meta Carnival. And it's interesting. Uh, both in positives and negatives. So let's get into this. Uh, it's not a... Here we go. This Epic Meta Carnival guarantees that you receive at least two medals with a tier 4 or higher special attack bonus. That's cool. This is great for a bunch... Well, actually, it's great for a lot of players. Um, the only people who aren't really going to benefit too terribly, terribly much out of that is going to be players like myself who have been playing since day one um, and who spent money on the game consistently because we pretty much already have everything like that for the most part. But even for players like myself, it's not bad on the whole um, because you can get medals to rebuild traits and make new traits. And I'm at the point now where I'm starting to get the traits I want on certain metals, and now I'm able to get copies of other metals and do different things that I want to do with them. Making certain metals, you know... Raid damage, making certain metals, um, aerial or ground uh, defense ones, you know, um, switching things up a little bit. So I, I'm not minding that too much. This is actually, actually kind of cool that they're doing that. Um, I do like that because it, honestly, it benefits all players. Brand new players, this is a pretty good deal for you guys. You guys are going to get two tier four or higher medals guaranteed with each new one. Um, casual players, uh, again, same thing. You'll be able to guilt things, or you're not able to guilt things exactly. I shouldn't say that because they're not orbs, sadly. Um, but you'll be able to get a few more things to reroll traits, and maybe if you're like one or two away from certain metals and you guys are lucky enough to pull them, you'll get them. But again, with that being said, you do have to get lucky enough to actually pull them, so there's a downside to that one. And then for players like myself, who are now um, just trying to get traits on certain things and make new metals with new traits on them, it's not too bad for that, uh, not too bad for that situation either. So there are benefits for everybody to do, do this. Um... And the new medals aren't too terrible. The new the new medals were kind of interesting. Uh, when I first saw them, I was kind of like, Meh, but they have their place in the game, which is which is curious. So let's go down there and talk about these ones then. Uh, first off, 0.2 Aqua is now here, which is kind of exciting to me now because that the 0.2 medals are starting to come out. That makes me wonder how close are we to 0.2 Kyrie. That's gonna be something to consider also when purchasing or purchasing um, from this banner. Um, you need to start saving jewels because if this is as close, the 0.2 Kyrie may be not too terribly far away. And then there's more reasons why I think that further down below, but we'll get to that. But that, the, the 0.2 metals are here now, so that's that's actually very interesting. Um, oops, sorry. Let's see. Uh, we also got the new uh, Tweenie medals or the World Energy medals and uh, Neku, Shiki, and Joshua. That they are right there. Not too bad. So Aqua. Let's get an Aqua first. Um, this is kind of a trend they've been kind of doing now. I've been noticing. Um, I, well, I can't, I can't really call it a trend. I wouldn't call it a trend. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a trend that we're trying to see now. Um, based off of what we got in previously for buffing metals. Um, because there have been certain metals that buff or debuff that now do damage as well. And beforehand we were kind of looking at things going like... Okay, I had these buffs. They're not going to do a lot of damage. You know, I don't have to worry about, you know, an attack skill on them or anything like that because they're not going to do too much damage. Now it's kind of reversed. Uh, with, like, the Aladdin and Genie, Aladdin and Naboo, um, HD Roxas, Casual Roxas, those metals deal some pretty, pretty good damage by a lot, and they buff you. 
So this is kind of keeping that trend, and I'm and it kind of makes sense because the enemies are now starting to get stronger, and the metals we use to buff and everything, they need to start dealing some more damage to keep up with that, and they're starting to, to do that, which is nice. Um, Aqua is a tier five, deals eleven hits, lowers magic based defense of all targets by two tiers for two turns, and inflicts more damage to higher HP. Four gauge cost AOE, pretty gnarly. That's actually pretty pretty good. Um, not bad. Now, is she like you know super amazing groundbreaking? No, not not she's not super groundbreaking, but she is a very very good metal, and she's really good to have. Um, and also, I mean, look at her. She looks gorgeous. I mean, uh, Aqua's my girl in this game, so I'm tempted alone to keep on going. Uh, just because, gosh, she looks amazing. Um, Nekushiki and uh, Joshua are all speed, power, and magic respectively. They are all are all five gauge costs. They are AOE, and I was like, you guys cost a lot. And when I first saw them, I was like, all right, you do eight hits, you raise strength for three tiers by three attacks, but and you remove target sets effects. Uh, and then I got to thinking, these are just these are just watered down versions of Illustrated Bell and Beast, and they do have their place in the game for certain events, for certain Coliseum levels, for instance. You know. Um, if you guys don't have like that times uh, double cast on a time street buffer already, um, and even if you do, these metals can be, can be placed in certain situations. Like you know, you don't have to use them in the first slot. You could use them in like the well, I guess realistically like the the third or fourth slot, but probably the third would be a, be the best bet for the most part. Unless you're doing Coliseum, in which case it would need to be the third slot. That way you you buff yourself, you buff your fourth medal, and then you buff your fifth medal. So, yeah. Um, they have their place in the game. They remove target stats effects, which is nice. Again, they, that's that's actually a, a pretty big plus. So you're going to want to put them in spots where they're going to buff up your main damage dealers and also where they won't interfere with your debuffs too much. So they're going to have to go before any kind, any kind of debuff medals for the most part because if you do debuffs, and you then just got hits afterwards, it's going to remove all the debuffs you just put on the enemy, so, something to look around with, something to work around on, but they're not, they're not too, they're not terrible, they're actually pretty interesting, I won't say they're great or good, but they have their play, they're situational, they have their place in certain situations, I can see them being very good in certain situations as well, so, there's that one, um, so, the Cinema Labyrinth kind of deal deals the following, um, if you get two medals, tier four higher, type the message pool. Aka will be a three orb if you pull her. They have a chance to get them boosted, of course. Um, all of them, um, Aqua can get boosted both strength and defense. Neku, Shiki, and Joshua, a thousand strength. Um, and here's a little tricky thing, too. And this is why I'm thinking that the 0.2 Kyrie may not be too far away from us. For each condition filled below, you will fulfill the, uh, within the campaign period, within the two-week campaign period, because this does last two weeks, um... You'll also get the 0.2 Terra and Ventus Metal pre-strength into two dots. It's a powerful metal that raises both power and speed-based strength by two tiers for two turns. In addition to dealing 13 extremely powerful hits. So, this metal can go really, really good on both Olympia and on um, the Sleeping Lion. Yeah, it, has a, it has a really good place for that on both of them. And it does uh, deal some good damage too from what I saw from the multiplier as well. Um, when I glanced at it briefly. So... Pretty powerful metal uh, going there. The only downside is, again, it's going to be at its maximum potential with guilting, and you have to fulfill the conditions. One of the conditions, of course, is to unlock the special type bonus for Aqua. Um, the other one, which will be announced May 30th, don't know. The other one, June 2nd, don't know. Here's the thing. 0.2 Riku should be coming out pretty soon, and after 0.2 Riku, we, we should be pretty, pretty close to 0.2 Kairi. So that leads to question that we could see a glimmer of 0.2 Kairi by June 2nd. That's super exciting to me. I am stoked about that. It's a possibility. So, um, there's nothing to here. Here we go. Uh, it's tier five, cost two, single target. Um, again, power and speed strength by two tiers for two turns. Um, that's not bad at all. The uh, one thing to consider this as well it is a two week campaign period essentially. Um, so, we're gonna get, um, we're probably gonna get a high school challenge involved with this as well, too. So, and which high school challenge it may be, I don't know. I've heard, I've heard glimmers that it could be um, Illustrated Donald, um, I think it was. I don't know, honestly. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I did one pull this morning because this morning I actually collected presents. Um, I meant to only collect the ones that are about to expire because there are some that are going to expire today. But instead, I accidentally hit collect all. So when I hit collect all, I did get enough jewels 
to do one pull, and in that pull, I did indeed get a Aqua. Uh, where is she? Here she is. I pulled one Aqua from that. Not boosted or anything. That's okay, though, because I got one pull and she was there, which is pretty cool. Um, already, though, I had a 3.5 multiplier, which means she'll probably be... Yeah, 3, what? 3. 3.7, 3 3.8 maybe, when all is said and done. Um, so she should be close to a, like a 9.0 multiplier at max when she's fully guilted, um, which isn't bad. That's something to snuff at. It's a very, that's a very, very high multiplier, like I said, that does some good debuff damage as well. Um, so there is that for her. Um, I also managed to, I did a second pull for heck of it, because I was like, maybe I'll get lucky and pull another one. Um, I didn't, but I did get a boosted Shiki. Where is she? There she is. All right, here. So I already had a 1.6 multiplier, 1.66 multiplier. Not too terrible. Like I said, though, guys, um, this Meta's banner isn't anything super amazing to, um... Oh, it just looks like Evolve. I'm curious now. Oh, neat. Cool. Um, this metal, this banner isn't anything too crazy crazy to really draw too heavily from, especially with the potential of Kyrie being right around the corner. That being said, I do want a chance to potentially get a second Aqua before that hits. It's been on the safe side. I don't know yet. So I am going to do a few pulls right now for you guys right here. If you guys stuck with me this long, now you guys get to see a quick pull. Not a lot, though. I think I'm only going to do like three or four pulls, and that's going to be it until the one of those dates, May 30th or uh, June 2nd hits, so we know what's going to come out. Um, again, if, if it's Kyrie, I, I need to save resources for Kyrie. That's going to be very important. Um, but who knows? We're going to find out. Uh, we shall see very soon. Um, so I'm probably going to do... I don't know. Like I said, I'll do at least three, maybe four. Well, let's, let's see what we get, though. I have no idea what we're going to get. Um, I'm hoping for a second Aqua. I'm not going to infuse them now because, again, we could, we could be seeing a high score challenge very soon, and I need to save uh, pieces for that. So we'll find out. Uh, ooh, that's a reverse one. Okay. Eh. Not the greatest pull. Really at all. Um, nice to see an extra one to him, I guess. I can, I can reward traits in the other one. Same with this guy. Eh, Okay. So not the most suspicious of starts to this banner. I have seen some really good pulls from this banner, though. This banner does seem to have some decent drop rates. If all the pulls I've seen done throughout the day so far are any indication, the drop rates are pretty are, are pretty decent. So, uh, Ventus again, and... Ooh, Shion, neat. All right, so we'll do this one. Hmm. Oh, Kyrie. Oh, a boosted uh, Joshua. And I got another Ursula, too. And a Kyrie. Okay, that's not too terrible. That's not too terrible. That's actually a pretty good pull. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do one more pull. It's going to keep me right under 70,000 jewels. So that's going to be it. This will be four pulls. Hopefully, I'll pull the Aqua here. But so far, not too bad. That last pull was very good for me. I left it just fine. Um. Two uprights. Okay. That one, not so much. All right. So, not too bad. Um, we're going to stop here. Like I said, I'm not going to pull anymore. Um, I got some decent medals from it. Um, some decent ones, some not so decent ones. Uh, I don't think... Did I get anything power-wise? I don't think I did. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's make sure of that. Because we can actually do some uh, trading for you guys here as well real quick. Um... don't think I did, really. So, yeah, no power ones. Okay. Um, there was a lack of power in my pool this time. Uh, yeah, this was like... Okay, so we'll go with this guy first. Uh, this one right here um, already has extra strength, uh, extra attack, double cast, plus 40%, and strength. So I'm going to leave him the way he is. He's pretty, he's pretty decent as he stands um, for most situations. Um, this one has poison and sleep resist on him, so now I can both repose, hopefully replace those traits with better traits and guilt this one too. I'm hoping to see this one, um, aerial and ground. Alright, there's aerial. Uh, let's go ahead and re re replace sleep. Cool. Alright, so here is going to be a guilt and a secondary trait. 
This is what I mean when I said earlier. I'm at the point where I'm starting to get medals backed up now, and I'm starting to replace them and make medals for certain situations. 114, not bad. In this case, this one will be my aerial and ground one, hopefully. Paralysis. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll take process over poison. Why not? Okay, not too bad. So at least I know this one will deal more damage against aerial enemies now. So that's pretty good. Um, where else was I at? Ah, here we go. Uh, this one right here is at 118. It has extra attack and aerial damage. This one is my raid medal right here, so I'm going to roll into this one again to hopefully get a higher guilt roll as well as um, get the raid damage trait. That's what I see on this one. Okay, 118. That's fine. Uh, hopefully, raid damage. Paralysis. Oof. No, nope, we're going to skip that one. Okay. So I didn't get one on this guy, sadly. That's okay, though. That's okay. Okay. Uh, this one right here has air track and strength plus 1,000, so he's pretty much set the way I want for generic situations. This one, um, has nothing on him, so it'll be a fresh one for him. Ariel, okay, that's good. That's, that's a good start for that metal. All right, uh, ooh, casual oxygen. So you have what? You have, ooh. So this one's set. He has aerial and ground defense, so I'm going to leave him alone. He is just fine the way he is. And this one, I'll start working on things for him afterwards. Uh, this Sora has double cast and damage and rage, so he'll be a good raid medal already. This one has double cast and defense, so I'll be working on him. Still waiting to get the double cast on this guy, but he does have um, aerial, which is good. Uh, here we go. Uh, this one right here is set. It already has damage and raids and uh, double cast on it. So when I get some more Lux max skills and such, I'll be putting them in him and running with him on certain setups. Uh, this one has max gauge plus two, but now we're going to add on there. Oops, no. Let's get it off. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, 143. Oh, wait. Was that the same he was already? I can't remember if that was already what he was at. It might have been. Meh. Ground. Excellent. Good start for him, then. He'll be a good attack metal right now for ground enemies. That's good. That is very good. Um, there is Shiki. Okay, so there are those ones. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Uh, this one has... Strength and damage and raids, which is pretty good. I'm going to personally that one alone. This one has ground, so that's good too. So they're both pretty much set and ready to go for certain situations. I got really happy with my with my, with my Terra. He has aerial and ground as well on him too now, so he's doing he's getting pretty beefed up and ready to go for things. I definitely like that one. He still has, has good spots and places too as well. Um, I guilt to my Aqua. Total strength in those ones. Ah, here we go. Shion, damage and raids, and strength a thousand. She already has a Lux Plus skill in her. That's not bad. I would love to see her get um, double cast though. Can I give her the Lux skill? Because that way she be, she benefits the most from her. Ooh. Um. Yeah. I may have a particularly new raid medal now. That is a very good setup for a raid medal now. Oh man, that new one, what's it called, uh, Diamond Dust? That reverse one? That could be a good raid blade as well now for me. Um, oh my god. Like this one right here is set too as well. Double raid as well, so I'm definitely gonna, gonna get some luxes in that one. Uh... Here we go. So you, you have mass cage and extra power. So I want to get raid damage on this Ursula really badly because I have a Lux plus max on her. 83 max plus plus plus. I would like to get um, damage rate to her to replace that mass cage plus two. Defense. And now nah, we'll keep the we'll keep the mass cages. All right. 
All right, all right, all right. Um, there is my Kyrie. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, here's playing for the little double cast on Ta'ana, my Kyrie. Still have not rolled double cast on her. I would love to roll double cast on her. Let the animation roll and attempt and hope on a prayer for a double cast. Please, 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 please. Double cast. Come on. Sleep resist. Oh my god. Alright. At least you're not a uh, defense plus 2000. Because I kid you guys not. I did roll defense plus 2000 four times in a row in this battle. So. Glad to not see that at least. Uh, I am going to keep my damage and rage though. And my defense plus 1000. So. Okay. That's it. Not too bad guys. Like I said. I feel pretty confident in the pools. They weren't too bad. Um, the traits are actually pretty good too. I got some really good traits on, on a few medals. That was nice. Um. I'm not going to do any more pulls until we get some more announcements as to what's going on. Um, I recommend you guys do the same. Um, right now I have three potential boost medals for the High Score Challenge. And Shiki and Joshua and my Aqua. So um, we will leave it at that for now. Uh, other than that, you guys, um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys choose a pool, good luck in your pools. Again, I would caution against it though because the potential for Kyrie being around the corner is very, very close. So that is going to be a thing, guys. Other than that, um... Yeah, <laughs> you guys take care. See ya.